All right, I'm back with some more updates and news. Now that I got my side panel all braced up and fixed, now it's time to fully brace my back hatch. Because if you remember, in one of my videos, I already did the size of a back hatch, but I didn't do the very middle with foam because it was no spot for me to really put it at. So I gotta use a two by four or a piece of wood like I did with the side panel to brace the middle of it. The flex is not as bad as before, but the flex is still really bad. All right, and more updates. I'm going to upgrade all my CCA wire to OFC wire. Some of my wires are already OFC like this one and uh, not that one, but some of them already OOC and I can tell immediate difference when I added that little bit of OOC so I'm switching out all my CCA wire to OOC and I don't know if you can see down there but if you remember I got that Metman 240 alternator like a year ago and it is still kicking butt I love the alternator if you want a good alternator get Metman I promise you they won't upset you um but anyways let me show you the flex video and show you how bad the back hash is still flexing. But not as bad as before though, but still bad. All right, here we go. You are watching a master. doesn't flex as bad as before but that is still too much flex for me that is unacceptable that is taking away from my sound quality and my DBs and my goal is to have the most boring flex videos ever because I don't want my truck hardly flexing at all after I add all this sound deadening and foam anyways let's get a little sub flex while I'm here <laughs> Let's go all the scenes. Yeah, turn my audio so off. Let's put the reverb on. Yo, turn me up. Yo. Let's go all the scenes. What you need, I can feed. And that green cool. Load the speed. Try to grind off a phone. Try to feed. here for the freaking I see the mall security I see the mall security come around the corner let me, let me get the hell out of here but anyways y'all get the picture I know I'm taking my poor time on this build but I'm trying to get the three essentials down first the three essentials is the right box 
proper sound dampening and bracing, and good electrical. Those are the three essentials you must have before you do all the freaking power upgrades with the amps and swap out subs because you don't like the subs. You gotta make sure you do the three essentials first before you, you know, try to waste all that money. And if you've been following my channel, this is my third box I made for two 18s. My third box, because my first two boxes was like crappy. And I finally nailed it with my third box. Um, I still got a painting, whatever, though. It looks freaking ugly, but it sounds amazing. And, you know, I got that essential down. I got my electrical down. The only thing I have to have now is my sound deadening and um, bracing. I have to get all that situated first before I start upgrading subs, upgrading power, and all that. But anyways, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.